bronze bomber Deontay Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, has now um, has now come out and said, you know what, Dillian White, I don't mind fighting Dillian White. I'm a fighter. I live for this shit. I'll fuck anyone up. He doesn't mind it, but he's saying that he wants proper compensation. You know, if he if if you're gonna make me fight a guy I don't really need to fight to build up a fight that's already built up, then what the fuck, right? Then, then at least, you know, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> pay me for uh, my services, right? I'm going over to the UK. It's going to be a huge crowd, a huge draw. You know, pay me what you owe me. That's what Deontay Wilder's saying, and you know what? You can't fault him for that. He, he's under no obligation to fight Dillian White. Just like he was under no obligation to fight Luis Ortiz. He didn't have to take that fight. No, he could have fought Romain Stavern from jump. He could have fought Stavern. And he could have said, you know what, that's my mandatory, I gotta fight him. What can you say? It's not, he, he's got nothing to do with a Luis Ortiz failing a drug test. And guess what? Luis Ortiz is another Hedy Hearn fighter. He signed with Eddie Hearn. So it's like, Luis Ortiz was the real boogeyman. And now Luis Ortiz fails the test. He's been wiped off the fucking rankings. So now what does Eddie Hearn do? He says, oh, but you haven't fought this guy. Maybe, you know, maybe I think this guy would give you a tough fight. I, you guys, you guys got to listen to my views. Very simple language. Eddie Hearn is playing chess right now. He doesn't want to put his his knight in there with with the rook. He doesn't want to put his knight in there with the rook. The rook on the other side is Deontay Wilder. He's the rook. And Eddie Hearn says, you know what? I'm going to have my pawn in front of the knight. The pawn is Dillian White. He's the pawn. He wants, he wants to get a two for one. He, he wants to make money on a Dillian White fight and then make money on an Anthony Joshua fight. That's what he wants to do. Because he knows that's going to build... the it, A Dillian White fight only builds that fight in the UK. That's all that it does. If Anthony Joshua is talking about coming over to the US, then there's no need to fight Dillian White. Not only that, but Deontay Wilder is the A-side in the equation if he's going to fight Dillian White. And most likely that fight should be in the U.S. Would that build up a, an Anthony Joshua fight? Maybe. It's unlikely. The only way that builds up an Anthony Joshua fight is if Anthony Joshua uh, does a face-to-face -face with Deontay Wilder in the ring after Wilder knocks out White. That's the only way. So, you know what? You know, I, I, I got mixed feelings because... Uh, just a few days ago, it seemed like Deontay Wilder wanted, wanted no parts of uh, Dillian White. Now he's saying, you know what? I don't mind the fight. I just want, I just want to be compensated properly, and, and and I get that. That I get. So you know, Dillian White has Robert Hellenius in front of him, and Hellenius is not, I, I he's not a real threat at heavyweight. So that's supposed to be an easy fight supposed to be. We'll see how hard of a fight it is for him, because uh, Dillian White tends to have hard fights with everyone. You know, he, he barely... He ba I don't even think he beat Derek Chisora. He arguably lost to Derek Chisora. So Deontay Wilder is now saying additionally that Anthony Joshua is afraid that he doesn't want that fight, and... Um, you know, that's the other part where I think it's more Eddie Hearn than Joshua. Eddie Hearn wants to schedule this fight accordingly. And he wants... He, he just wants to, you know, keep... Have some in-house money with Joshua before a big unification. That, that's, that's, my, that's my take on it. I think that's all Eddie Hearn. And Joshua's not really in full control of who he's fighting. Now... 
It, it seems like Joshua is content with letting Eddie Hearn manage his career as 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 he would want as he would want him to. So here's a clip of Deontay Wilder saying, "You know what? Josh was afraid. Josh was afraid of the fight, and uh, take it for what it is." He fears me, just like all other ones do. Look at all the other ones. Look at look at my career. Look at my career. Look at all these guys that have had the opportunity to fight me. But then we talking about the best. We ain't talking about these guys that's talking now. Like, yeah, I'll fight you. Yeah, of course. If I was coming up, I'd say, say the same shit. So please put a motherfucking muff on your mouth and be quiet. But, I'm talking about the best. That, that's... I'm talking about the best. And we got to we gotta face the fact. I called them all out, even if from Klitschko. And people still to this day say, well, why you didn't call Klitschko out? Right. Well, if you get up on that motherfucking rock, you will realize and see that I did. Years ago, when he had the remainder of the bill. Right. And I just had the, and I just had mine. You will see that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these guys did, went other routes into freaking not fighting me because they felt like they had a better opportunity in another situation to fight me. That's been throughout my career. And after, after obtaining this belt, and that's facts. That is facts. That's facts. Mm. Either they done went to another easy opportunity. Or they didn't. Or they didn't. Got, they didn't. They didn't chose a bad substance of their choice and decided to take it. And what they want to do, they want to come up with an alibi and stuff like that. So you gotta have an alibi. You gotta have something that shows you that you wasn't the weak, weaker being. That you wasn't scared because so many of them have gotten away with it. So many. And look, Chris Cole them got away with it too. All right. All right. I'll I'll leave it at that. Shout out to Fight Hype for the audio. Uh, check out their video as well. Full interviews with Deontay Wilder. You know, pretty exclusive stuff. So, that's what it is, guys. What do you think about these developments? Deontay Wilder. Looking for a fight, man. This dude's looking for a fight. He's got to beat Stavern once again. And then it's, it's open season, you know. Whoever wants to get it. Uh, Deontay Wilder should try and make that shit happen because uh, right now, I, I, Anthony Joshua's stalling. He's stalling. So let me know what you guys think.